Hi YouTube, um, today I'm going to show you how to make a screen capture program in Visual Basic 2010, 2008, this one I prefer 2010. Alright, let's get started. First thing you want to do is create a... Wait, what thing does that? You have to create a... Tool strip. Make it a button. Go to the properties of that button. Make it instead of display style image, make it text, and name name it. Um, select area. All right, make a new button. Uh, same thing. Text. Name it. Full screen capture. And then the next one button. Uh, same thing again, image, text, save. And you will, after that, you want to put a picture box in there. Leave it under that. Uh, go to dock. And go to fill. It'll fill the whole entire thing. Um, go to project, add Windows form. Hit add. Um, you want to make a picture box. That's all you want to put in there. Go to dock. Click fill, go to background color, make it uh, under custom, make it red or whatever color, um, and then click the form 2, and go to transparency, and make it the same color you just did, red, and then the first thing you want to do, I'll have the code in the description, you want to make it, uh, first thing, is double click, full screen capture, Copy this code right here. Uh, um, next thing you want to do is go back to the form one. Uh, double click save. Copy that. Uh, that'll be in there. And then go back, I think, to form one again. And copy this. Form two dot show. Whoops. Yeah, select area. And then paste it. Form two dot show. And then go to form 2 and type this right here double click it put it, ri put it right here put it right there um, after that you do you copy uh, well you gotta make um, a new a new thing so the first thing you want to make is go right here go right here go to mouse down and then copy the mouse down code copy that paste that in the mouse down and then make a new one mouse move copy that go just click right in here click right in here, mouse down, mouse, move, paste that in there, and then the next thing you want to do is for form closing, copy this, and click in here, and then do, go up to, go up to form closing, and then paste that one in there, and then after that, that should, I think, actually be it. So, just debug it. Select area. Here it is right here. It should be a transparency box. Whoops. Uh, I want to take a picture of that. All you have to do is press the little X button. And then it should be right there of what you just took a picture of. And to save it, it, it won't give you one of those overwrite messages. So, you have to save it if you like it. Full screen capture actually captures the full screen. 
and when you save it, it'll either be a BMP or whatever. Go to pictures. Uh, I'm just gonna overwrite that. Yes, you can close it after it saves. And here it is, right here, the screen caps you just took. Um, what you want to do is it makes more sense if you when you go like this and you debug it and you click select area. You don't want it to be in its own little thing. So what you want to do is after that you just click it. I mean you can customize it. I prefer what I'm doing now. Do that. Do um, stop mode and do. them so it makes it just like that so when you open it here it is right here select area and you see that doesn't even show up there and all you have to do is this thing right here the top of that actually counts as the picture so see if I go like that you can't even see it in this box but when you press X it does take it so you just keep that in mind that when you take the picture you have to put it in the top of whatever you're doing and then press the little X button so um I guess that's pretty it for this tutorial. So, uh, please give me credit because this really took me a while to generate all that code. Um, so, uh, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.